So this exhibition is a, a solo exhibition of Leslie Thornton, who is a fantastic artist working in the moving image. She's been working for nearly five decades now. And this exhibition traces her work from some of her earliest pieces in the mid-1970s up until the present day. One of the defining features of Leslie's work is her use of montage and her way of treating some of her own footage as though it were found footage. Um, and the, the effect is one that is often characterized as alienation. Um, so seeing this, this footage that looks very different because of the way it's juxtaposed with sound or with other images. Begin Again Again as a title is actually drawn from the final chapter of her 30-year project, Peggy and Fred in Hell. And it's a line that's heard at the end of that chapter when an artificial intelligence is speaking. It emerged as a possible title though because of the way Leslie often returns to her own material and recycles it and reuses it in different works throughout the course of her entire career. This exhibition is fairly chronological and it's roughly divided into three chapters. So as you enter the space, you see some of her earliest works from the mid-1970s. In the first room, when you enter the exhibition, there's an environment that was actually an interpretation of a work, Let Me Count the Ways, which is a, a series of short sequential pieces. The curator, Natalie Bell, was responsible for opening the piece up into its constituent parts, and that was quite a challenge for me, but it became effective given the setting. I wanted to make sure that we included one of her early film works actually projected on film, just as a way of making it very clear to a viewer that that's the medium she was working in at the time. When Desmond and I decided we're making this film, because I was, as far as I was concerned, already a grown-up artist at the age of 20, there was no way I was going to start from scratch. I couldn't. So how did I conceptualize with him extracts? I used the model that I was using in painting of establishing a structure and then breaking it and re-establishing it and breaking it. So what we did with extracts is we developed a score on paper for every single shot. Not exactly what would happen within the shot, but what the camera would do and how long the shots would be. And we did the same more or less with the sound. And then in the center of the space is an installation of Peggy and Fred in Hell. Uh, and this is her masterwork, hands down. It is an over 30 year project that she began in 1983 and followed all the way into 2015. Peggy and Fred in Hell is a great devotion that lasted over 30 years. I met two kids in San Francisco. I was teaching there at the time. And I moved to another house. I had my car. I hardly owned anything. I'm just emptying it out. And these two little kids, their heads pop up over the fence. Who are you? What's that? Is that a tape recorder? Tape us. Uh, OK. <laughs> so that within, I don't know, 15 minutes of arriving at my new home, just downstairs from where they lived. We we're sitting on the front steps and I am recording them telling stories. And I, I'm just, I'm stunned by what they can do. I'll say I also had the title already, Peggy and Fred in Hell, because my plan had been to work with two grown-ups I knew, Peggy and Fred, and to do actually more of a narrative film that was about the post-atomic bomb world. I met these kids, and that day, that went away. And it shifted in my head. In the final space of the exhibition are two large projections. Uh, behind me is Cut from Liquid to Snake, which is a recent work from 2018, uh, as well as Ground, which is opposite that. It's a 2020 work. Uh, and then Leslie's most recent work, Hemlock, is installed on two uh, stacked flat screen monitors and it's a silent work. So it's a space that feels very visually overwhelming uh, and my goal was for it to feel a, kind of like a grand finale of the exhibition. Cut from liquid to snake ground, which is behind me, and Hemlock Handmade, which is uh, a very new piece. 
all of them involve some work at scientific research centers, filming and talking to people. Interestingly, the sound, I think, really plays with one another. One of the works is heard over the speakers. One you can hear through headphones, and her most recent work, Hemlock Handmade, is silent. But when you see them all together, um, they almost work as a, as a unit, even though they're three separate works.